Hello guys, my name is Ninja Five, Ninja Dog Five Sixteen. Sorry, and his name is Norbertino. And today, we are going to be showing you how to deconstruct and reconstruct a pen. For if for every reason you drop it, or you're you were writing too hard, or you rage quit in Fortnite, or whatever the reason, we're going to be showing you with two different types of pens. First up is the spinny, screwy type. And then second is the clicky type. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go first. I'm showing you how to deconstruct and reconstruct my pen. So, first step here is to, uh, well, first of all, I do wanna say that these pens are less common than the clicky pen that he's deconstructing and reconstructing. But um, the way this works is when you twist and you twist, when you, when you twist so that it comes out, there is like a little, I don't know what to call it, like a little wedge, and that's what makes it, um, like, make the pen pop up. And then when you go, it takes away the wedge so it falls back down. That's kind of how it works. Anyway, starting on the deconstructing, the tip is the first thing you need to take off. You need to unscrew it simply. Some pens you might need to, like, unscrew harder, or you might need someone stronger, so you might need to, like, really unscrew it. But for mine, you just simply unscrew it. That's all you have to do on top. Next up, you just take apart the you just take because you just take out the ink cartridge from the inside and then take apart the spring from the ink cartridge and the next step you take apart the spinny thing and then that's about this that's about as far down as this pen goes um yeah you can't really undo much much more of it without breaking it so if it gets worse than this it's probably broken unless you have a different type of pen or it might be missing something i'm sorry about it. i'm sorry if i am anyway back to the reconstruction so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to take your spring and put it back on your ink cartridge, as so. And then put that back inside of your pen. And then put the purple piece back on your pen as well. The screw piece. Yeah, the screw piece. And look, even when, I'm just trying to watch. You can even see, look, even though the, the tops aren't on, look how it works. But it doesn't go back because of the top. So push it back down, do it again goes back up that's just the way it works um then you're gonna want to take the tip and then re-screw it back on once you've done that your pen is back to normal your turn okay so i'm going to take apart my pen so first you take the top off Sorry. yeah move back and move better in the frame okay. okay so first you take the top off and just by unscrewing just like you did with mine yeah and then you take off the slinky right here. And then you take out the ink cartridge. Just like me. First steps are just about the same. And then... Show this part. This part is different. And then different. you take out this part, if I can. Ethan, may you help yeah, me? Yeah, I'll help you. So you, the, take, you take the top part. Where no, you the go. bottom. This is the bottom. Where you, where you clip it. The bottom. The bottom, I mean, the top if you're holding it, you know. But the bottom part where you click it, you take that apart. That, that'll take some brute force. Yeah. So, yeah, take that apart. So and, then, then you, and then you get this mechanism it's where, and you, then, it's where you click it and yeah. then this is a little black part that makes it like click so how you put it back in is by first putting in putting in the top so or the bottom show them, show them sorry, the bottom and then you put on the spring the spring sorry the spring on the whatever. ink cartridge, cartridge. And then you put put it face down, mm -hmm. and then you put the ink cr cartridge cartridge uh, bottom face down on the bottom part of the pen. And then you put the black part face up with the pointy like round pointy ish. The smaller tip. And then you put it the big part. You put it on the pen. Try to put on the pen. And then you put this back in. But you you want to make sure that the black piece fits into the hole, kind of, and then you have to fit this hole into the the outside of the pen. So you put it, you just try to squeeze it in, try to squeeze it in and screw it at the same time, and then. Gosh. Do you No, I think I got it. Essentially, while he's talking, you literally just have to like brute force it back in. Um, and that's okay. part you're gonna need help, right? Yeah, kind of. 
Let me see if I can get this in. Bit in time. There you go. Well, it's not all the way in. Wait, let me look. real quick, real quick. Uh, you can see that it's already back to normal, kind of, but this part we haven't clicked in yet, so let me do that real quick. But um, make sure that, because some, if you have like an alignment right here, I don't know if you see that, like it's like very faint, but you have an alignment right here, you see that? I think it's kind of visible now. So yeah. you're going to just put it, make sure you align it like where the grooves kind of already were made. And then that'll make it easier for it to go back in too. So if you keep that into consideration, it'll be way easier. Put back in, and there you go, I got it. So back to you. And um, that's how you put back a pen. Thank you for watching our yep. video today by Ninja Dog 516 and Norbertinio. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.